Up to this point, we've always written pretty short programs, but eventually you're probably going to write some very long programs. So let's take a look at how you can deal with them. Okay, so let me close this in, uh, project that I had open and let's close the content editor for a little bit. And let's take my animal sounds project and let's add some more some more sounds to it. So, you know, we could add, I don't really care what sounds we do, we could do a dog bark. All right, this is the dino program. All right, well, so the dino having a dog bark, a little bit weird, but whatever. And we can add another sound. And this one, let's see, in the Lego sound files, anything good um, under communications? All right, well, our dinosaur is going to say fantastic. fantastic. Great. And maybe we'll add another display block in here. And our dinosaur will have, boy, you can see I'm kind of running out of space over here. Let's stick in those dizzy eyes for now. Um, but you can see I, I've, I've really run out of space. And there's two things that you can do here. The first is you can click on this little hand up here. That's the pan tool. And if you click on the pan tool, that allows you to, if you click and hold the mouse, you can drag the screen around so you can see what's going on. So I click and drag. You need to click back on this select tool to start working again because if you do any type clicking right now, it just move stuff around. So I'm going to click on the select tool and now I'll be able to see all those image files again. We can do better images. So we could do, you know, out of the progress menu, maybe we'll pick dial, well, dots one. Very exciting. Okay. Um, and of course we'd never end with a picture. So let's add one more sound here to our dinosaur program. This is getting a bit crazy, but the finally, the dinosaur says, game over. Game over. Perfect. Okay, so this is okay, but, you know, the pan tool can get really annoying because I want to see the beginning of my program. i got to slide this way. I want to see the end of my program. i got to slide that way. And, in fact, I've got a lot of space down here that I don't seem to be using. So it, it just seems a little bit wasteful to have all this white space at the bottom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch out of pan tool mode and back into select mode. And I'm going to click on one of these little guys right here. These are called sequence plugs in Lego terminology. Let me go about halfway. I guess this one. I'm going to click on this one and boom, it stretches out the connection. And once I've stretched out that connection, I can take this block. Well, I can take a bunch of blocks actually. I'm just going to slide and drag and I can kind of drag these guys down. And this is still connected. You can see kind of the wire is still connected. Now, it's pretty ugly right now the way the wire is connected. What I can do is I can get rid of that. I just clicked on the connector here. And then I'm going to click on the sequence plug exit again. And you can see now there's this little, it looks like it, well, it's supposed to look like a spool of wire. We can debate whether it looks like a spool of wire. But if I click on the sequence plug, and then, oops, let's try again. I have the wire now, and now I click on the sequence plug. Okay, I click on the sequence plug, sorry guys, and I hold it down, so I'm still dragging, and I plug it in there. You can see that's a little bit neater, right? Now the wire doesn't cross over my code. Um, so this looks a little bit better, and this is in fact one long program. So we have the angry sound, the T-Rex roar, the Oh, sorry, the angry display, right? That's a display block. The T-Rex roar, the dizzy display, the dog growl, the dog bark, the fantastic sound, the dots display, and then the words came over. And now we've got one super long program. And we can, in fact, if I want to, I'm going to select all of these again. I'm going to circle all these guys and drag them up just a little bit. What we can do is we can add even more, even more blocks. So maybe I'll do another row with a sound block here. And right now the sound block isn't part of my program, but again, I can click and hold on this sequence plug and just drag round and down and hook it up. And now this sound is part of my program. So let's give it an interesting sound to wrap it up with. And let's do a slide load sound. Fabulous. So this is how you can you can kind of use the sequence plugs to stretch out your program. Not bad.